It's that time. Time to spring clean the energy in your home. If you don't know what this means and how important it is to living the best version of your life, keep watching. If we haven't already met, my name is Daniela Biaggi and I'm a realtor who heals homes through my intuitive gifts. I know how helpful having a positive living environment is when looking to live your best life. I often get asked to clear negative or unwanted energies from a space. Personally, I use all kinds of modalities as needed, including sage to clear a space. However, there are many ways of doing this and many beliefs around this as well. I'm gonna share a few ways that I like to freshen up a home for the new spring season and hit the reset button. I wanna start by saying I can only speak from my own personal experience and what I have done up until this point. I began seeking out ways to clear a space based on the different energies I was picking up on around me during different times of the year or day or basically any time. As I got older, I began to understand that the energy around me was an important factor in my life when it came to my mood, my physical energy levels, and things just running smoothly to allow me the most supportive and relaxed space I needed to accomplish the tasks I wanted to. Let's face it, who wants to climb uphill all day long? Well, the truth is you don't have to, and at least not all the time. I learned to keep and maintain my environment, home and workspace, and begin helping others do that as well. As far as the home goes, I learned from various sources how to use all kinds of methods, including my psychic gifts, to do some heavy lifting as far as spirits or energies inside a building. But there are more common and more frequent ways of clearing as well. Many different herbs, such as sage leaves and many other different types of plants, essential oils like lavender and crystals to heal the space of what I understood as old, dusty, unwanted energy and leave it feeling fresher and more free. I felt that this was helpful for my home and helpful for my sleeping soundly at night, along with many other types of practices that help keep my environment peaceful, relaxed, and fresh. I find that these things really helped. I start with a small process before I light the sage. Then I surround myself with the smoke from the smolder of the sage and walk through my whole house, basically outlining each door, corner, window. As I walk through, I ask that only light and love may stay and any lower energies either level up or go back to their source. I usually let my intuition guide me where I need to be and to focus my cleansing. I also allow my intuition to land on whatever prayer or intention I need as well. Each time I do this, it's kind of different and there's no right or wrong way to do it but you always wanna work within a protection of a higher power, whatever that is for you. You also wanna leave windows and doors open to let the energy out that you are looking to remove. If it's really cold outside, just open a window afterwards, but the energy does need some sort of like way out to clear the space. At this point, I've performed many types of clearings on myself and others. I sometimes take for granted the effects it could have and the outcome. As the years have passed, I have increased my skills and seemingly whatever is meant to come through does for whoever's in the home at the time and always for the greater good of all. I often hear that those who I've done clearings for experience positive effects in their homes after and they live just like a little bit more calmly and peacefully throughout. I really love hearing the result that this type of clearing has to help people foster their lives and their relationships and just fill the home with happy energy. I often get the um, comment that my home is like really peaceful and cozy when people come in. So that's kind of one of the, of the results of this as well. I always like to use the example, would you wear the same outfit every single day for a year and never wash it? That's the exact same situation you have in your home. Not only does the house and the contents absorb the events of daily life, but the walls and land itself do too. If you feel this is something you would benefit from, try it for yourself. It's worth a try and there are many resources to help you. Many stores sell the tools you need to do the clearing and a lot of the employees are super helpful. I love Akash's Den in Oakville, which is where I get all of my stuff and I will link them in the comments below. There are countless others, but be sure to go to a store that is reputable with people who have good intentions and correct information. Ask around and read reviews, and as always, trust your gut. If you walk into an establishment and it just feels uncomfortable and not right, leave, listen to yourself. There are, of course, many books you can find at your public library. 
bookstore and the internet but please be sure you are visiting a reputable website um, where they're giving you good information and they're not asking you for money for just like basic information be sure not to buy into someone who tells you that your house is cursed and they need hundreds of dollars to remove it here's my two cents on the subject for many reasons of which I won't get into here there is no such thing as a curse at least not in the literal way people are scamming you with so don't listen to anyone who advises uh, you to pay them like a large sum of money to remove negative energy and curses from you and your loved ones um, just don't let someone rob you and scare you that's not necessary do your research and see what makes the most sense for you and what resonates with you is usually what you need good people will lead you to good people so give it a try happy clearing and as always shine on